the peculiar praying mantis. Mantises are an order of insects that contains over 2,400 species in about 460 genera in 33 families. The largest family is the mantidae, or mantids. Mantises are distributed worldwide in temperate and tropical habitats. They have triangular heads with bulging eyes supported on flexible necks. Their elongated bodies may or may not have wings, but all mantidae have four legs that are greatly enlarged for catching and gripping prey. Their upright posture, while remaining stationary with forearms folded, has led to the common name praying mantis. For decades, it was believed that the praying mantis had no sense of hearing because there are no hearing membranes on its head. However, in the late 1980s, neuroscientist David Yeager discovered that most mantids, praying mantis species, have a single hearing membrane buried deep in the center of their thorax, or chest area. Yeager wrote, The ear doesn't look like any other ear. They're the only animal known to have just one ear. Dr. Yeager has shown that flying mantids can detect the ultrasonic chirps of an approaching bat and take evasive action much like a fighter jet, pulling up into a stall position, turning sideways, and dropping into a powered dive toward the ground. He said, it's not just a fall, they go faster as they go down. This complex aerial maneuver usually succeeds in evading a trailing bat. Not only does no other insect possess such an ultra-sensitive ear, but there is no known ancestor or evolutionary path explaining its existence. The evidence indicates that this one specific creature was designed with this amazing ability. Although evolutionists have surmised that mantids are related to other insects, such as cockroaches, because both mantids and cockroaches have six legs and three main body segments. However, this is an assumption based upon present-day observation of a common design. It's far from proof of common ancestry. That is, an unknown type of insect millions of years before mantids split into cockroaches and praying mantids. To further frustrate any evolutionary ideas, fossil mantids have been shown to have the same features long before bats supposedly evolved, making the need for such abilities totally unnecessary. The Bible clearly teaches the creation of every different kind of creature at essentially the same time, making such astounding abilities and features no surprise to the biblical creationist. So how do evolutionists explain the existence of a unique form of hearing in a creature long before such an ability would be useful? As usual, they fall back on faith disguised as science. Jaeger and his colleagues, quote, speculate a different, unknown, kind of insectivorous predator could have chased them during the Cretaceous period. This is storytelling, not science. 